we got us a no cooling call. Filter looks good. 86 degrees up in here. Wow. Set to 70. Fan is on. Third floor. It is hot, bros. They broke yellow, so hopefully it's just the float switch. Nope, bone dry. Let's go outside and see what's going on with the condenser. All right, so here's our unit right here. Nothing's on at all. No fan, no compressor, nothing. And take the cover off, see what's happening, see if we got 24 volts coming down. All right, broke out the multimeter. I see the contactor is, is made, it's pushed in. Let's see if we've got high voltage. No, we don't. 1.7 millivolts. So yeah, there's no high voltage. Now, if you guys remember from my past videos, if this goes bad, it'll start tripping the breaker. So I bet that breaker is tripped upstairs. <clears throat> that capacitor looks new. That's a Titan. Someone's been here recently. So let's go check the breaker upstairs. Yep, breaker is tripped. See how those are a little further over and this one's in the middle. So yeah, bet we got us a bad hard start. Seen it a bunch of times out here now. When that hard start starts going bad, trips the breaker. So let's go test it. Just take off the two wires. Put our meter on cap. If you've got a filled piece or some other meter, it would be MFD, but my craftsman says cap. A lot of guys ask how old that thing is. I bought it like in 2007 or 8, so that meter has been a good one. Leads on both of the terminals, so this thing should be between 88 and 108. And as you can see, we're getting zero. So this hard start is bad. And that's why it's stripping the breaker. Seen it many times out here, many times. So I'm just gonna replace this whole deal, that and that, just go all new. Yeah, so there's my new one. We get them off Amazon, they come already hooked up. Pretty much, you just screw it into the unit, that's it. Comes already wired up and everything. I'll leave a link to one of these in the, in the description below, like I always do. And we'll take it out and I'll show you what the uh, ohms or the microfarads, actually, what the microfarads should read. Let's get this old one out first. I mean, these units are all of two years old. Say what you want about my nice new property, but it is an HVAC nightmare. I'm gonna learn so much. I believe in my all my heart of hearts that every freaking coil is leaking out here. I feel like I've been to every coil and had to add juice to it. <clears throat> oh wait a minute, there's one more wire on the capacitor. The red. All right, got the new one here. Already comes with the wires on it, Skid, which is nice. So you don't really have to remember where any wires go or anything like that. We'll ohm out. We'll ohm out this good one just to show you where it's supposed to be. It says between 88 and like 108. Yeah, 88, 108. It says it right there, right there on the on the hard start. So yellow goes to Herm. On the capacitor. Red to common. This capacitor looks new. I'll test it anyway just to make sure. Black on the common side of the contactor. And that 
is it. Screw the hard start back down. I kind of like plumbing strap better, better than this zip tie they send it with. All right, this is the good hard start. Got my leads on both the terminals, and as you can see, 112. So that means it's good. Remember, the other one was zero. So I'm going to test the capacitor just to make sure that's good. I'm sure it is. I'm not going to do it on camera. Last thing YouTube needs is another capacitor video, right? All right, the capacitor is a 35.5. I got 35 on the Herm and 5 on the fan. So it's good. Let's go turn the breaker back on and see what happens. All right, let's see what happens here. Uh-oh. Popping immediately. What the heck? I wonder if that hard start being low fried the compressor. Oh my God. Well, let's go do some more digging. All right, I pulled the disconnect. See what happens. Might have a bad breaker, big dog. Disconnect is pulled. So it's not even, it hits the disconnect and it's not even making it out to the condenser. Let me take this panel off. I wonder if this breaker's bad. Yeah, I pulled the cover off the disconnect. All the wires look good in there, nice and tight. So power's not even going to the condensing unit. And the breaker's still tripping, so I'm gonna take all these screws off, pull this breaker panel off, and I'll be back. So there's my breaker right here. Here's the wires. Why's it got dog on tape on it? Hmm. Let's try to pull it out and take a look. I had to take my hat off because it is hot, brosive. Busting beads. Ah. Looks good here. All the wires are tight. Pull it out and check it with the meter. Nothing looks burned. Give it a little, give it the old sniff test. Gotta test the, the breaker here. Just turn it on. So it's staying up when I do that. So all I'm gonna do is set my meter to continuity where it beeps. I'm gonna touch the, the screw here and the back there. Screw here, back. If I hear it beep, it means it's good. So that side's good. That side's good. What the heck? Alright guys, I put the same breaker back in. I just stripped it back to some fresh wire. Um, it was beeping on continuity on both sides. I even ohmed it out. Both sides were ohming at 5. So I put it back in, threw it back on. As you can see, it, it's staying on. So. Who knows, I'm gonna go put the disconnect in and see if we have success. Yeah, so that breaker was tripping with the disconnect out. So the power wasn't even going to the condensing unit. It was in between here and the breaker box. That's why it was tripping. And I looked in here, everything looked good. Nothing crazy or burned, no wires touching. So it was definitely between here and the breaker box, whatever it was. Maybe it's just I needed to take it out and cut it back to some fresh copper. All right, with the disconnect in, it's still on. I mean, you guys saw it. As soon as I was throwing it, that sucker was pop popping back into the middle. Even with the disconnect out. <clears throat> I got to keep moving here, man. There's microwaves now working. 
AC's freezing up. I'd love to sit here and nerd out on the system, you know, and turn the plenum into a porcupine with probes and meters, but I gotta keep it moving, guys. This is property management, not HVAC. A lot of HVAC guys stop by and saying, oh, you need to do this and check that. Guys, I don't have time. Hooray, we did it, Brussif. Staying on. Wow, what a trip, man. That hard start, breaker not staying on. Probably just needed some, some fresh copper and some tighten down. Whew. All right, I'm gonna put the cover back on and we're gonna hang out with it a little bit, but I feel confident. I mean, it was tripping immediately and now it's not, so I feel pretty confident to walk away and move on to the other stuff. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. If anything changes here, I'll let you know. See you in the next one. Later.